He is known for being the son of a mathematician with a passion for astronomy, geography, rhetorics, philosophy, and navigation. He became a notary and graduated as a doctor of law. He became involved in religious controversies and published controversial leaflets. His name is Jacob Raghavin. Jacob Raghavin, a Dutch explorer, embarked on a daring expedition sponsored by the Dutch West India Company. With his fleet of three ships, the Arend, the Thienhoven, and the Afrikaans J. Gailey, and a crew of 223 men, he set out to discover Terra Australis and find a new trade route to the coveted Spice Islands. The journey began on August 1, 1721, as Raghavin sailed south to the Falkland Islands, navigating through treacherous waters in the Strait of Lemaire. These early stages of the voyage were tumultuous, with harsh weather conditions and relentless challenges testing the resolve of the crew. Despite the hardships, they persevered, driven by the promise of discovering new lands. As they ventured further south, beyond 60 degrees, they crossed into the vastness of the Pacific Ocean. It was here that Raghavin experienced a moment of triumph as he made landfall near Valdivia, Chile. The sight of undiscovered lands filled him with a sense of wonder and excitement. Continuing their exploration, the expedition reached the Juan Fernandez Islands, where they anchored from February 24 to March 17. Here, Raghavin and his crew took the opportunity to replenish their supplies and document their findings. The islands provided a brief respite from the hardships of the voyage and allowed them to prepare for the next leg of their journey. On Easter Sunday, April 5, 1722, Raghavin and his crew arrived at the mysterious Easter Island. The sight of the colossal stone statues, known as Moai, left them in awe of the island's rich cultural heritage. Raghavin meticulously charted the locations of six islands in the Tuamotu Archipelago, two islands in the Society Islands, and four islands in Samoa. However, not all encounters during the expedition were peaceful. As they approached Makatea, tensions escalated between the crew and the locals. In a tragic turn of events, the Makateans ambushed a shore party, resulting in the death of ten crew members. In retaliation, Raghavin ordered his remaining crew to open fire on a crowded beach, further escalating the violence. Despite the hardships and casualties, Raghavin's determination to explore the uncharted territories remained unwavering. The expedition sailed past New Guinea, determined to reach Batavia. However, upon their arrival in 1722, Raghavin was arrested by the VOC, Dutch East India Company, for violating their monopoly and had his ships confiscated. Undeterred, Raghavin fought a lengthy lawsuit in the Netherlands against the VOC. Eventually, he secured compensation for his losses and received payment for his crew. In the aftermath of his journey, Raghavin published part 4 of his work, De Val van S. Werelds Afgod, The Fall of the World's Idol, documenting his experiences and discoveries. The journey of Jacob Raghavin stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of exploration. His voyage, though fraught with challenges and conflicts, expanded the world's knowledge and left a lasting legacy on the map of the Pacific. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.